Good morning, Blue Class. I just spoke to Teacher Lee and she said that you guys have learned a new sound. She told me about Red Robot. So I'm going to see if you can form the root correctly. Let's have a look. We are going to need Play-Doh. I have a beautiful red color Play-Doh. And of course, our Play-Doh placement. When we do make our roux, we're going to start at the top, go down, up the same line, and then you make a little loop. Right, so when you're going to form your roux, we are going to first roll it into a nice long sausage, and then we can form our roux. When we're done with that, I've got some red pebbles that we are going to put on top of my play-doh and for each one that I'm going to put in we can say the new sound that we've just learned R R oh and the last little red pebble and now we're going up the line again and we're going to make the little loop R R and R. I think we can make one more, yeah. There you go. So when we're going to write the R sound, we're going to start at the top. We go down one straight line, up again, exactly the same line, and then we make our little loop. There is our R. Let's quickly put this away. Now we're going to form the R in my rainbow rice just have a look what i've got over here it's rice raw rice that teacher has colored now i've got beautiful rainbow rice let's have a look how do we start again we put at the top and we go down so let's see i'm going to start there i'm going to go down and up on the same line and make my loop let's do it again at the top Go down, up, and over. Let's do it for the last time. Start at the top, go down, same line up, and make my loop. Well done. What you can do for teacher now, you're going to look in the house if you can find items that start with the sound R. Ask mommy and daddy if they can help you to think of words that start with through. And after this, I'll see you then. Enjoy your scavenger hunt. Could you find some words that or items that start with through? Let's see what teacher have. First of all, let's have a look at the pictures that I've got over here. Rainbow. Rainbow starts with a r. Rock as well as a rose. Here the teddy bear is reading. Read starts with a R. And road. And of course, the daddy chicken, the rooster. They all start with R. Let's just quickly make sure how do we form it. We start at the top. We go down, up the line, and we make a little loop. Right, let's have a look what teacher had. When I went on a scavenger hunt in my house, I found some items that start with the sound R. The first one that's sticking out here, yes, a racket. And we can play what sport with it? Yes, tennis. We have a racket. Over here, somebody's peeping out. A rabbit. A rabbit is also a pet that we can have at home. Speaking of pets, I'm thinking of a pet. Most boys like them as pets. It's a small animal with a very long tail and two little ears and they like to nibble. Yes, it is a rat. A rat is also a pet just like a rabbit. Here I have a ruler. A ruler also starts with R. 
oh, I've got something in this little container. Let's have a look. Ah, it's rice. But it's not the rainbow rice. It's the normal rice that mommy can cook for us and make meals. Rice also starts with R. Here I have a red ribbon that we can wear in our hair. There you go, red ribbon. It's a double R sound. Ah, some music we can listen to on the radio. And it's another color, red. There you go, let's put it over there. Oh, look at this tiny little item that we girls, we love this. A ring. Yes, let's put the ring next to my rabbit. Oh, and then I have something that some of us played when, with when we were babies. A rattle. What do I have over here? Oh, what on earth? Oh, I know. It's a rectangle. Yes, we have a shape that starts with R. And oh, yeah, I've got a tiny little plastic rose. And there is one more animal that teachers thinking of. It could not fit in my bag because it's way too big and it's a wild animal. Let's see if you can guess this. It's, also, it's a big animal. It's a grayish color. Got four big feet and a horn on the nose. Oh, you are way too clever. It's a rhinoceros, or as we just call it, a rhino. Well done. Now we know. Oh, hold on. Somebody is looking over here. Oh, look, it's Hello Kitty. And she is wearing a robe. We have quite a lot of her words. Let's have a look quickly. Racket, rabbit, ring. Rose, rattle, rice, rectangle, ruler, radio, ribbon, and robe. Wow, that is quite a lot of words. We are going to have a little play now. You can go and play outside or get something to eat. And when I see you in a little bit, I'm going to do an activity with you. See you just now. Three. Right, are you ready for your activity? For this activity, we need the following. A big piece of paper, a cookie to draw with, coloring pencils, one cotton, a uh, ear cotton bud, and red paint. What we're going to do, we are going to take our big paper and we're going to fold it just a little bit up there on the edges and we're going to make it straight there you go and this opening over here we're not going to draw anything we're first going to leave it open in the middle of your page we are going to write a big the new sound that we've just done down straight up and make the loop oh remember to write your name in the top left hand corner I've drawn a rose and a rabbit. You can draw a lot of new pictures, all starting with the sound R. When you finish drawing it, you can write the sound R here for my rabbit. And before we're going to color in or work with our paint, we're going to make a little pattern here at the bottom. We have learned all about three element patterns. So what we're going to do, we're going to make a three element pattern, but with our sounds. Let's start. Wa, n, and I'm your one. Hur. Wa, n, hur. Wa, n, hur. Wa. Hmm. And we're going to end off with our R. There you go. What we're going to do now, we're going to take one of our earbuds and our red paint and we're going to decorate our R with red paint. I'm going to 
dip it in, make sure the nose isn't running. And we're going to start at the top. And we're going to go down just like when we write our I need more paint over here. Here you go, all the way down. And now we go up again with our Maybe I can make another one. And now for the last lap over here with a loop. There I have my red rr. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to make all the rules on my page with red paint as well. I'm going to, let me just hold it correctly, down and over. There you go, let's do the rabbit one rr for rabbit. And all the rules in our pattern, we're going to do the same. the wrong one here you go now we can just quickly wait for our paint to dry and then you can color in the beautiful pictures that you've drawn remember you don't just have to draw two like teacher did you can draw quite a lot of rules because we know a lot of words that start